Now to Port Alberni, where the province spent the day trying to heal an old wound. The B.C. government is making amends to the Heshquit First Nation for the wrongful hanging of one of their ancestors almost a century and a half ago. For more than a year, the provincial government has discussed how it can close the book on one of its darkest chapters, a chapter the province says it regrets. CTV's Jeff Bassey has the story. <laughs> 143 years later, the drums beat for their chief, Anita Chest, a man who was wrongly convicted of a heinous crime. Our biggest concern is just clearing our grandfather's name. History has labeled Vic Amos's grandfather, Anita Chest, as a murderer, a man who mutilated and killed European settlers. In 1869, the American merchant ship John Bright smashed on the rocks of Friendly Cove. Amos says all his grandfather did was bury the dead. Somehow he got blamed for, for decapitating them and murdering them, and you know, but just it was, uh, it was a clashing of two worlds between the, uh, the colonial world and, and the native people of the coast. Amos's grandfather was executed in front of his people, hung at the gallows. Today, the provincial government acknowledged the incident and tried to give the family some closure. To have an opportunity. Uh, to offer, uh, you know, words of regret and then allow the family to offer their words of forgiveness to allow them to move forward. And that's why we're here today. The minister met with the family's elders in private, passing on the B.C. government's condolences. She later took center stage and addressed the gathering, not issuing an apology, but a regret. To express our sincere regret that your homeland was forced to bear witness to such violence. I believe what it means is that for the family, for the neighbors, for the entire community, we actually can put some closure on this incident, rewrite perhaps or include another chapter in this history, uh, this tragic history, to allow us to move forward. The unjust hanging took place before British Columbia joined Canada as the sixth province. Now, Vic wants the federal government to issue an official apology in Parliament. My belief is that the federal government needs to come to the table and apologize because they were formed. They were formed in 1869. They were taking responsibility for whatever happens in this country. So I believe that they do have to come to the table with us. Today's reconciliation feast will bring some closure to the family. The tribe will work closer with the provincial government and move forward, knowing that their grandfather will no longer be remembered as a murderer, but an honorable man. Jeb Bassey, CTV News, Port Alberni.